say, I say, when this goes down, focus on woe first to draw the rest down there. Um, they're on the ramp, use grease. Bruce uh, approaches, he gets uh, like a step, uh, five feet in front of, of wind stops, <laughs> and Bruce takes another five step, foot step forward. He says, uh, the lady here says that you uh, you got some magic going on here, so uh, we're just gonna need you to drop any of that, and we can continue this exchange. I, I'm sorry, we don't have any magic. Oh, uh, you do. She's she knows what she's talking about, lady. Can I cast something? Would that be if too you out if of you place? cast casting will, a spell is, is like attack. a okay. very obvious action, and it will start yeah. shit. <laughs> Um, Dylan Kaiser says, this isn't fair. The Sixers magical person is actually using her skills to do exactly what she should. This is unfamiliar territory for I, I think it's all right if you, if you say, show that your, your flute can turn in back into a sword. Uh, that's right. I'm sorry, guys. It's my sword. I, and I, it becomes a sword again. Okay. And then uh, this guy here, Swan, there's some magic here too. He's a, he's a wizard. magic. Wizards are not intrinsically magical. They're not? Uh, Marcus always tells me, you know, magic this and power of the universe and... The lady says that there's magic, he just dropped a spell. It's okay, that's fine. We don't have to worry about this too much. <coughs> I, I, we don't have any spells on him. If he has spells on himself, he has spells on himself. How's he casting spells? You tied him up and he's all gagged up. He well, wasn't always spells. gagged up. Uh, I whispered <coughs> to Alex, who's still <coughs> away. And I say to Alex, so this is all going south. Shit. Should I uh, disrupt the procedure? How? Should we just, well, there's always fireball. <laughs> she says, yeah. Um. I don't know what to do. I could cast Fireball and hit just Gwen. Well, could I cast Fireball in a way to hit Gwen, Bruce, not my party, and the crossbow people? This is 40 foot diameter, right? Um, if you, if you want to include Bruce and Gwen in it, it's, it's very tricky because of the way everybody has positioned themselves because it's a very wide diameter and they've kind of walked up to the party. You could definitely get the crossbow guys who have stood further back and avoid hitting anybody, but... Marcus. How many crossbow guys are there? Half a dozen. Half a dozen? Yeah. Marcus. Half a dozen up top, half a dozen on the bottom. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Can you put her to sleep? Can you blame it on some weird <laughs> Blame it on the rain. <laughs> No, because as soon as I do anything else, the spell's going away. Okay, fire up the fireball. I, fire up the fireball. Can I message? No, because they'd hear me. They they would hear, yeah, because you have to actually speak yeah. the words. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Immediately. So the spell disappears and fireball is cast on the crossbowman. Oh, well, we and see I, this. And I say, there's your sign. Uh, we're... So that's what you're doing? Okay. I know. Um, anybody? Hold on. First of all. Brian Summer, by the way, I mentioned that George Custer rode up, saw the scene, and then rode away. <laughs> um, so. All right. Stuff's going to go down because Marcus is about to literally blow this yeah. up. So. Alex, yeah. you are still hidden. Yes. So you will be able to get a surprise round. Right, I'm going to throw my thunder. Uh, Marcus, you are part of the surprise round because you are also hidden. In a surprise round, um, you can take one standard or one move action, and then combat begins as normal. That's, that's the way surprise rounds, rounds work. That's just how it is. So you can make an attack against somebody, or you can move. Can I throw my thunderstone? Yeah, that's absolutely something you could do. All right, I'm going to throw my thunderstone into the middle of the pit. Into the what? Into the pit, in the in, middle of the Deep pit. into the pit, further back in the pit. Okay, so let's all roll initiative and then we'll start this rise round and move from there. But I dropped the spell, obviously. Yeah, pause, that will happen. As soon as you cast, it'll immediately drop. Yes. Now, we see this, do we get a chance to run? What? Do we get a chance to run when we see that that happened? 
Uh, it, after that, combat will begin, so whatever your initiative order is, you can do whatever it is that you're going to do. 25. <coughs> 25. I'm confused. Are you telling me I can't go first in the initiative round? Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, are you telling me I can't go first in the surprise yeah, round? Yeah, you don't, you you can go, well, you, you go during the surprise round. Like, that's just what'll happen. Okay. But cool. it doesn't necessarily, like, your initiative order is just whatever your initiative order is. Gotcha. Craig was caught with his loincloth down, so, uh, 10. <laughs> Quickly, at 25. <laughs> Who's next? Uh, Anybody else above 20? That would be Claret with a, I'm 25. 25? 25? Who's got a bigger bonus? Mine's plus you Guys, six. compare bonuses Mine's real plus quick. Seven. Oh! oh! Bard Fighter wins. Bard Fighter, okay, just a little bit faster. All right. I have 19. No, oh, still top top in the round order. Craig, what are we at? 10. 10. Call with my loincloth down. Marcus. Not as bad as my robes are. Seven. Oh. <laughs> you were like, mm, yeah. So, technically, in the surprise round, you would act first, but if you are like waiting until you see the thing happen, you could just hold until, like, it doesn't really matter. You just wait till Marcus blows blows up everybody, and then you can throw the thunderstorm. Wait till I blow up. <clears throat> yeah. Marcus, you got half a dozen dudes uh, who need to make a, a reflex save. Hey, Alex, can I borrow your two best D6s? Yes. Thank you. <coughs> Mrs. Quigley, which one do you like better? Ah, you fools! <laughs> uh, six, nine, uh, 10, 12, 15 fiery deaths. 15 fiery deaths. You can see that two of these guys instinctively like throw themselves out of the way. They manage to avoid the, the burning fiery death. But four of them are gonna take full damage. 15, you say? Yes. Did the, did the other two say for <coughs> half what I said? Does not look like you have singed them almost at, at all. At all. Gotcha. Evasion is a fun feat, or fun class feature. So you've got two that are just outright burned to death. They they fall to the ground. I'm gonna mark those. Smoking on <laughs> charred corpses. Two of them are very close to death. You can tell that you have severely burned them, but they are still standing, still trying to get their crossbows up and ready to fire. And the final two are A-OK. -okay. They managed to dodge out of the way unharmed and are looking around for the source of all their woes. The other two, though, were hurt. <coughs> yes, very badly. Alex. All right, I'm gonna throw my thunder. You throw your thunderstone. So you guys see the illusion of uh, Horatio Swan disappear in an instant. And then there is a blinding flash of fiery light. And then a few seconds later, there is a thunderous crack of, of, of sound from off in the dark distance. And that is when we get into round one, officially of combat. Claret, you are first to act. Ahead of you, about 10 feet ahead of you, there is Bruce. He is a man that you recognize. You know that he's skilled in combat. Um, but he te tends to rely on, on gaining the advantage over his foes than an outright fight. Uh, a little bit further back from him is Gwyn, who you know to be a very powerful spellcaster. The full extent of her powers are unknown, but you know that she is deadly. Um, and then there are some charred and burned up Sixers behind them. What do you do? And they're all like <coughs> in a general forward direction. <coughs> yes. To these two, I say, guys, stay close, and I cast Cord of Shards towards everyone in front of me. Cord of Shards. What? Coming at you. <laughs> Claret steps forward, raises her hands, emits a coning, cone burst of horrific sound uh, that transforms into like razor no, sharp yeah. crystalline shards. These shards burst forth from her voice, piercing several of the creatures below, or in front of you. Roll 2d6. Six total? 
Six total damage. Okay, reflex is gonna negate. I'm gonna roll the footman first. One is gonna take six points of damage and one is going to entirely avoid the shards bursting <laughs> forth from your, from your the, the other two, the hurt ones. Uh, they are both going to fall under the barrage of shards, just duh, 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 and they go down, dead. Yes, I got my first two kills. Then Bruce. Brad Metz, by the way, says, Alex, don't forget to cut Stanley's throat at the end. And then whisper the Lannister sent Bruce is <laughs> unable to dodge out of the way. He takes nice, six Brad. points of shard damage. And then Gwyn herself easily avoids the shards dancing out of the way. It's almost as if she was prepared for magic of some sort. Uh, that takes us to Quigley. Quigley, it is your turn. You've seen these shards burst forth. And the down. Thunderstone has happened. Thunderstone happened. Um. <clears throat> John Bickley says, only thing better than evasion. Improved evasion. <laughs> right? So this is pretty stuff. Very stupid, but this is what Quigley was prepared to do. And he, he screams, what have you done? Because he's imagining that it was supposed to be the, uh, you know, he prepared a, prepared an action of once everything's going to happen, that's going to come out and he would blame them for it. Yeah. So he screams, what have you done? For no apparent reason. <laughs> and shifts in front of the ramp and draws his sword. Okay, so you're going to move around to be in front of the ramp, draw your blade. Alex, it is your turn. You are still hidden. I'm gonna stay hidden for this round. Just stay hidden? Stay where you are? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just trying to understand where the <coughs> battlefield is located. The two guys that dodged out of the way, the two guys that are basically untouched at this point by the shards and by the yeah. fireball, aren't they at the base of the ramp? So did quickly just go to fight them? They went to the base of the ramp and then they kind of spread out like along okay, cool. the path. So, so that, yeah, they're not so like right at the, the other they way. Wanted, they wanted to spread out so they could use their crossbows. So quickly is going the other way. Right, and Craig Quigley is going over right to where they just were. Right, um, okay, cool. With his sword drawn. Alex, I'm sorry, are you changing your mind now? Maybe, there's guys on the top of us too, right? There indeed are, and they look ready to fire. But no one can see me? You, as far as you know, nobody has seen you. I'm gonna take out my crossbow. Okay. I'm gonna aim it towards the spellcaster. Okay. Can she shoot? Draw, drawing weapon is a move action, oh, and then... She didn't, yeah, she didn't do anything else. Then aiming is a full round action, and then looking down the sights is another oh. action. Press would be seven. Kyle D. Adams says, in one game, Jamie already has more kills than Quigley does okay. in 26 episodes. Dice cam. <laughs> These. 10 plus seven gives me 17. Okay, that is enough to hit her flat foot AC. It's, um, six. Is that sneak attack? It's sneak it attack damage. So 3d6 plus one for the weapon. So 4d6. Four. Woo! Nice. This bitch is going down. Oh! Whoa! <laughs> right. Whoa. Here we go. Dice cam. Oh, it better not be. Whoa. Oh. 4, 8, 12. 14. 14. 14 points of damage. Your bolt goes sailing through the darkness. And just before... Oh. It hits her. It, it's almost like it, you actually hear it, almost like it physically hits something, and it still manages to barely pierce through, but the bolt like kind of kind of hits her in the shoulder. Yeah, like there, it's armor. almost like there was something in between you and her just, just before the bolt hit her. It hit something uh, and, and barely penetrated. It still hurts her, but it's not nearly the shot you hoped it was. Okay. That was a good one. My turn. The two guys at the base of the, actually there are still one, two, three guys still alive with crossbows drawn down at the bottom. Wait, I thought we killed four. I killed two, you there killed were six two. guys with crossbows is what you said. I killed two, she killed two, and then two dodged. One of the ones that got hit by the shards didn't die from the shards. Only one of the guys who got hit by the shards died. From oh. The other guy was still standing. Yeah. So she only got her first kill, not her first two. She got kills. one kill. Oh. One actual kill. <coughs> shoot, shoot Jim in the face next time. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take the kill. I mean, he's directly in front of me. He should have taken damage. Huh? Nothing. Who should take damage? Nothing. Me? No one. Me, physically? Jim Jam? No. no. Yeah? No. Well, uh, being the screamer, you're getting shot at. So how about them apples? What is your AC? 
total 18. Total 18. Two bolts are coming at you. Two misses. Both bolts go sailing into the darkness. <coughs> the third living uh, shooter takes a shot at Crag. Crag, you're getting hit with a bolt. Oh, yeah. But it only a grazing shot for one measly point of damage. Oh, one point. Barely enough. Where Barely enough to send him into range. Skin. Yeah, just enough to get you raging. There's <coughs> We're hoping yeah. that. Um, and then Bruce is gonna go. Bruce is gonna step up and take a swing at you. Clare it? With his, yep, with his club, with his truncheon, but he misses, whiffs hard. And then Miss Gwyn Six. Miss Gwyn Six lowers her hands or, or raises her hand, sorry. Pointing Oh, that's Gwen Six? Um, you know what, I'm switching teams, Jim. Switching teams. <laughs> Pointing <laughs> directly at Quigley and unleashing a ray of shadowy, black, draining energy oh. straight at his chest. Quigley, make a fortitude save. Right. So is that a one? Have well, I ever, have I ever told you, you how much I hate magic? A sickening sensation as Ooh. your strength is sapped away by this dark energy. That it's a lot. Of you bad. take five points of strength damage. I am literally useless now. What is your total strength right now? Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Uh, probably not enough to make you encumbered by what you're wearing, but it's close because you have that heavier armor now. Uh, so you will need to keep track of that if you take any more strength damage. From the top, um, Marcus, you hear shouts. It came from over there! And you look over at a group of men who have leveled crossbows at you and are firing. That's a hit. <coughs> That's a hit. Three hits and three misses. I'm going to uh, spontaneously cast with my pearl level one mm -hmm. stone shield. Okay. Um, <coughs> increases your AC by four for the round, yes? Yes, which brings okay. my total AC to 22. Okay. Um, it should say how many hit points the stone wall has, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, at some point it said that. Let me see. Stone shields. Hardness, uh, eight, 15 hit points. Chances are none of these attacks are getting through, but there's a, there's a theoretical chance. They could break through the shield, so I'll roll the damage just to see. No, all three bolts shatter into the uh, stone, saving you from imminent death. The power of the universe! <laughs> <laughs> Arthur Or <six>. that round. <laughs> <laughs> or that moment right there. <coughs> Arthur Six shouts a word. None of you quite catch. There is a blinding flash of light. From, you see it at the top, he flashes. And when he flashes, he's gone. There is a blinding flash of light down at the bottom of the ramp. When it flashes, Gwyn is gone. Suddenly, in Gwyn's place is Arthur Six, and where Arthur was standing is Gwyn. Arthur raises his bastard sword and charges into the darkness where he saw Alex fire at his you saw sister. Me? At the dawn of the third day. I was in the day. dark. <laughs> I was in the dark. Parkour. You shot. You took the shot, man. Parkour flip up in the air. Alex, he's coming at you, and he's gonna hit you. He darts forward and lays into you with this sword. You take 12 points of damage as he slashes you across the chest. All right. Ugh. Yeah. Okay. Yes! I thought that was the Lyra. Yeah, is that Lyra's? 
That's, oh, that's rogue. Oh, it's a rogue? Okay. And I think you're forgetting one. And that was all my dudes. No, it's not, right? Oh, I know what you want to happen. Um, yeah, probably. <coughs> there is some rumbling. The process begins. But now it's Craig's turn. Craig is your <coughs> Craig, in front of you. And there's an arrow barely sticking into your flesh. There, you've been no, grazed. There are three guys with crossbows. They look like they're loading up. They're ready to fire again. You see Ar there is a blinding flash of light. Arthur Six suddenly appears, boom, and goes charging after where Alex is. And you hear a, a cry as he slashes her across the chest. You see Bruce has engaged, is closest to you, and is engaged with Claret. Um, he isn't able to hit, but you can see that she's like on her guard now. What do you do? Uh, do I see where Arthur Six went? Oh yeah, you can see where he I is. can see him? Yeah. yeah. How is he in the dark <coughs> or not? Yeah, would I be able to... From yeah, I mean, this at? is a, well, a sufficiently lit area. You have like five bonfires going. Like we're, we're not worried about darkness rules down in the pit. So from where I'm at, can I charge power attack him from where I'm at? Yeah. Does either that or flank with her against Bruce. But if I went after him, I'd still be flanking. I'm going, he's the strongest I am going If after. you want to charge, you can't get in, you can move and get into a flanking position, but if you want to charge in a straight line, you're not going to be end up, end up flanking in this turn. So it's, it's a, you either get the, you're, you're, there's your trade-off, flank or charge, which one do you want to do? So I can't flank with Alex this <laughs> Not turn. if you want to charge. But I can charge, I can charge in, and it gives me a plus two. Flanking gives you a plus two, and charging gives you a plus two. So it's a, it's a wash flank, either way. The only difference is with flanking, she gets to sneak attack, so. That's what I want to do. Yeah. You want to flank? Yes. So you move in. Move in. You can still take a swing. Power attack on Arthur Six. Okay. Get him! Back. Are you raging? I'm not raging. What? <coughs> there's going to be a massive mud monster. Uh, 14 plus 8. That's a hit. So he's flanking now, right? You strike. Oh, 14 plus 8 plus 2. You, yes. you hit anyway. <laughs> You've already hit, so now you hit even better. Six plus 12, 18. 18 points of damage? All right, a solid hit. You just crash into the back of his breastplate and he goes stumbling forward and he's like, oh shit, there's a guy there. <laughs> oh no. <coughs> Marcus, battle rages below. You've been seen up top. Your stone shield crumbles away. Just, uh, this was something I asked you last game, but I just wanted to clarify it for the Eye of Azifram. If I were to throw that, mm -hmm. would that make me be seen? What do you mean? If I was invisible, sorry. If I was invisible, would that count as a me popping? If you go invisible and throw it, no. No. No? Yeah. Okay, cool. You can create darkness without, yeah. Uh, Unless you were like, I want to hit somebody with it, but if you just want to cover an area in darkness, that's fine. Well, I'm definitely gonna go invisible. Okay. And hope that she is not that skilled. Okay. Uh, and then I'm going to move. Okay. You move. So you you cast your spell. There's your standard. You move yeah. to where? Uh, away. Do you want to go? You can move. You can move closer to them. Further away from them. Those are base or like further yeah. back. I'll take the, the long way around to them. <coughs> long way around to them. Okay. Yeah. So you begin moving to the opposite the direction. Up top. Okay. Cool. <coughs> Man, sorry guys. I'm having some problems. Gwen, or not Gwen. I'm Gwen. <laughs> You're Gwen. You. Yes. You're the top of the round. Round two. Action's getting heated. Now you know that if you cast a spell while that guy's standing right in front of you, there's a chance he's just going to bash you in the face. Yep. From what I've seen from both Gwen and Arthur. Yes. Have I been able to see, tell with their abilities, is it based on sight? They seem to have not as much trouble as you would think maneuvering in the darkness. They are carrying light source. A lot of the I mean, their they're, enemies are carrying light. I mean, spell casting. Is it yeah. based on light or is it based on like sound? You know, being blind doesn't necessarily prevent you from casting spells. 
there are certain spells you know that have a specific like you have to be able to see your target but and Arthur as far as you know does not possess the ability to cast spells <coughs> okay how far is Crag from me right now he's about 15 feet away from me and Quigley's fairly close as well yeah. Again, I Quigley's say, actually technically closer, but he's around. Like you have to get past Bruce to get quickly. I say, guys, stay close. I start singing, using my blazing blades. Okay. Uh, with blazing blades, everybody who is in her area of effect, your blade bursts into flames, not harming the weapon, giving weapon you an additional one d four to damage. Yes. Two d fours fire damage. Two d four fire damage. What? On but top of your dice game. Did you step away from Bruce, or is Bruce still beating the crap on him? So he still beat the crap out of me, but he missed earlier. I haven't been touched yet. Jim, can you repeat that? What is it? Uh, so anybody weapon. within 30 <coughs> feet of me? It's 2d4. 2d4, fire. extra fire damage coming at you. Okay. For as long as she maintains. And you're singing? I'm singing, yeah. Okay. Can we hear it? So it's a standard action to start singing, yep. and then you still have a move action technically if you'd like. Although, you know that if you move away from him, you might provoke an attack of opportunity. Can Unless I just take a shift. defensive stance? You can take a five-foot step. You can... Five-foot step is okay? take a five-foot yeah. step closer to me? No, because you are that on the way. other side. Yeah. She, could t she would want to step back from Bruce, essentially. That'd be her... But if I took a five-foot step away, <clears throat> I would not provoke an attack of opportunity, and they'd still be in range. I'm, oh, yeah, yeah. I'm going to take a five-foot step Okay, away. so you take a five-foot step back. Uh, maintaining your song, everybody hearing the song. It's much, it, it's, it fills you with the same feeling uh, that, that Lyra's harp pendant has been, but, but it's it has a different effect. Yeah, instead of, <laughs> instead of us not believing, this is for, yeah. Yeah. And not, um, what's the song about, though? <coughs> Fire. It says, Can for those about it? to rock. Death. <laughs> Quiggles. Yes. It's a lot like the sword to the jungle. Is, is glowing with, with white hot flames. It's what you always wanted. You feel drained, but at the same time emboldened by this. What do you do? You know, you can see the mud is beginning to shift and change too, so you know that soon things are going to get dicey down here. Cavalry. There's, there's, <coughs> there's the, the guy with the bastard sword. Yes. There's one more John with, Snow. Uh, with uh, There's Bruce, Rosso. there's Arthur, and there's three archers who are about to Lannister. unleash heck. I'm gonna go after Bruce mm. because You're going after Bruce. Okay, you can go after Bruce. He made me look like a fool. Dylan, Did. Dylan I'm going Henry, to shift into a. Um... I'm going to be in a flanking position. You're in a flanking position, so you yes. get that plus two, that sweet plus two bonus. <clears throat> I'm going to need because I'm very bad off. Dylan Henry says Johnny Cash's Ring of Fire. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. absolutely. So, Ah, uh, that would be a 20. 20? Yes. 20 hits. Bruce is struck. Um, burn. Are you taking burn. your strength away from there, Quigley? Yes, I am. You know that affects your damage as well. Uh, yes. So I get 1d4 plus 2. Or 1d8 plus 2 and 2d4. Two yep. Plus 2 and 2. Sounds right to me. <laughs> What's your strength at? Twelve. For um. Twelve is a plus one bonus, but he has a plus one sword, so. Cool. Right. So five, uh, eight. Eight uh, points of damage. Uh, ten points of damage. Ten points of damage. Fire damage. <coughs> Bruce is hurting. You slashed him good, uh, leaving a charred streak of flesh across his back. He is not feeling good about this. Good. But it's Alex's turn. Alex, you are facing down Arthur Six. Your daggers glow with flaming. Actually, you have your crossbow in hand. So. So I have. Okay, throwing it down. Throw it down. Rapier dagger. Rapier dagger. Do I have to wait till my next turn? <coughs> no, dropping is a free action. All right, dropping it, grabbing these two, and then. You can attack with one this round. Yeah, you can make one oh, attack this okay. round. Okay, so I'll oh, attack rapier. with my Rape. rapier, which is a plus Spear. eight. Sorry. <laughs> That's a one. This is good one. for us. That's a numero uno. Yeah. All right. Burns herself. Do you lose an eye this time? You no. drop your weapon. You draw your blades, but you get caught as you're trying to draw your other blade. And Arthur Six takes this opportunity 
<clears throat> to smack you upside the head. Attack of opportunity against you. Here he comes. That's a leaner. I'm afraid you're taking some damage. Okay. D10 plus bonuses, another 12 points of damage. The exact Ooh, same from damage a roll. Pimp slap? Another 12. He was saying slap. And, yeah. I think he was saying slap with the sword, I think, is what he's indicating. With a flat head. Like, like you do your head. face in the. I think he just chose a word, but he meant the sword was cutting her. Uh, yes? I hear you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I didn't mean that to mechanically describe that he was going to smack her with the flat end of his blade. No, I think I'm was, sorry, though. I understand that, that that's a very important distinction and I won't I mean, to be fair, you did make uh, Brother York spoon with Alex earlier. <laughs> she just got, she just got smacked and she's been spooned. Smacked and spooned. And dragged, you dragged me. Spooned and smacked. Spooning Immediately you. after Beautiful. taking this attack of opportunity, Arthur Six is gonna take his regular attack. Are you kidding? I'm not kidding. Not a, I, don't think it's I am not kidding. <laughs> He is coming at you. Oh. Alex? Yeah. That's a miss. Oh! What a Thank you! <laughs> oh my god. Craig, these archers down at the bottom of the pit try to pepper you with bolts as they stand back watching you surround Bruce. Three bolts coming at you. No, he's surrounding Arthur. Or, er, that's right, you were in yeah. Arthur. Quigley was the one who flanked with Craig. Yes. Well, then let's make it Quigley. Perfect. Perfect. One hit, one miss, and. Another miss, so one hit, Quigley. Quigley. All right. Take five damage. From a bolt to the back. <laughs> Craig, it shot you right in your name. Up top. That guy looks crazy. <laughs> Who's that? Is that another piece? Of that guy is crazy. That's Michael Casevin. He looks he's crazy. The gnome, he's the gnome Michael sixer. Casevin. Yeah, but it's kind of dark. Is, so it's a gnome crazy. down there? Huh? There's a, a little tiny gnome running around. Look at his oh, crazy yeah. eyes. Oh, yeah. We gnomes still are love vicious. you. Don't doubt gnomes, all right? Gnome doubt. That <laughs> gnome doubt. And what happens at the end of your gnome time? doubt about it? Oh, at no. the, oh here <laughs> we we still got more of the beat. We're in the middle of my turn, all right? Up at the top. Gwyn points a finger down at you, singing. I don't like Make her. Make a will save. I don't I'll like her. That. You roll a d20, you add your will modifier to it. Down. This is DC 18. Do you have any Thank conditional you. modifiers? DC 18. Um, yes, I do. I have plus two to against enchantment spells and effects and plus four versus bardic performance, sonic and language dependent effects. Plus two. This, this is enchantment. an enchantment, this so you is? get an additional plus two. Okay. You get a plus six. You gotta be an 18. Who's 12. 12? 12. 12 total? You're singing, and suddenly your singing begins to choke off and turn to laughter as you uncontrollably begin oh. cackling like a mad woman. So, so hard, <laughs> so manically that you fall to the ground. <laughs> and can take no actions until the spell ends. I don't like her. Yeah, that. she needs to go down. A bit. <laughs> a that's little bad. bit. Actually, that sounds like what her <coughs> like. So no more. On your next turn, fire, every no turn, you can make an attempt to uh, save against the spell again. Okay. Otherwise, it will simply last till its duration. Got it. Um, but it is a full round action to resist. Okay. And then the guys up top, uh, their target vanished. Um, so they're going to fire down into the pit and they see Quigley and Crag. They're going to take shots at Crag, who is trying to kill Arthur. Bolts are coming down. One hit and a miss. Two misses and another hit. All right, Craig. You take a total of 16 points of damage this round from the bolts that strike you in the back. And everyone notices a huge, monstrous lump of mud taking shape, gurgling horribly into the night 
as it rises up and takes form at the other end of the pit. It will begin acting next round, Crag. This battle got a lot more interesting. What do you do? I'm still flanking. You still are flanking. <coughs> oh, God. Damon Geyser says, Marcus, you need to outcast that six chick. And Norman Valeri says, power of the universe. Power attack, flanking, sonic release. Sonic boom on this fool. With power attack. my fire damage. Power attack we got a Blinking. No, we don't not have raging. fire damage. Yeah, not so raging. I need to get out of here, dude. We don't have he fire damage. He's not risking his. I'm not his, worried he's raging. raging. He's sticking to a tactical oh. plan. We don't have fire damage. Oh, fire damage is gone? Yeah, I she got fire damage down. Sonic boom. Because the song Sonic boom. has stopped. Sonic boom. <laughs> 14 plus. You got it. 8. Oh, yes. Yep. That done it. Kill him. So, so you still are dealing the sonic damage. So should I roll two for regular damage and then d6 for sonic damage? Is it different or is it all the same? Sonic Tech, do there, are, there are circumstances when the sonic damage, I'll need to know specifically which die the sonic damage this is. It doesn't matter? Now it doesn't matter. Oh, come on. Maximum. Sonic release! Damage! Jesus. So... I got seven plus 12. 19 points of damage. Yeah. You've heard him bad, but he is still up, still fighting. <coughs> you know what he looks like? He looks like the sleaze bag from the Iron Islands. <laughs> That's name? right, send oh, us your photos, yeah. folks. <laughs> and we'll call you sleaze bags on the internet. What's his name? Marcus. What's his name? Yeah. Uh, the yeah. uncle, the That's uncle. Battle continues. You can see that a newcomer has joined. It's your old pal, yeah, the Mud uncle. Monster. Huge, angry, yes. ready to smash everyone in his path, regardless of political affiliation. Ah, you're on Greyjoy. What do you do? I have a question. I'm sure you do. True strike. Yes. Does that count as a critical? Or does that just count as a... It does not count as an automatic hit. critical. It just gives you a plus 20 to your hit. Cool. What if you roll a one? It's that ones are always automatic. Like, the, the way ones are worded is one on the die is an automatic miss no matter what else occurs. Well, that's unfortunate. <coughs> I'm going to get behind Gwen Six. First, I'm going to cast Feather <laughs> First, first, I'm going to cast Featherfall on myself Marcus from where I am. Yep. Okay. Okay. Using my ring. If you want to run all the way around the pit, mm -hmm. that's like a full round action. So if you also want to cast spells, you're not getting behind her this round. Cool. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to cast Featherfall first. Okay. Cast Featherfall. Uh, yeah. Okay. I cast Featherfall and drink a potion of True Strike. Okay. Cool. And then my <laughs> next action will be to get behind Gwen Six. Yeah. Okay. Exactly where he wants to be. My girlfriend is hoping you don't kill all the Sixers. She's the female Sixer and doesn't want her NPC to die. <laughs> that was Lucas Martinez. She has to die. I'm killing Euron Greyjoy, that's for damn sure. You know what's gonna make you guys really sad? What? Top of the third round. The mud monster has just joined the battle. Things have gotten hectic. Marcus is invisible. Nobody has any idea where he is. Your new found bard friend is on the ground laughing hideously and uncontrollably. Because this is funny. Dylan Henry comments, the plan has <laughs> failed. Time to improvise, wizard. What do we do? Wizard. I don't know, I'm out of here. <laughs> But we're gonna have to find out how this all plays out. Oh, no! 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 It's, no! It's, no. If, if we carry out this battle, we're going to like midnight. That's fine. That's like fine. I, I understand that you want to say like this can't happen, but we're going for a long uh, time. From a from a producer standpoint, I'm not sure that that can happen. Uh, so, but it's this battle is just getting again. started. So, and it's gonna be a long one. That I'm, I'm telling you mechanically with the game the way this works. 
that's just just Hey, that. well, we're going to be back next week with excitement. And killing! Uh, it's a cliffhanger. Yeah. Well, you were part of the conversation that you I was broken. I, I understand. I'm telling you the reality of playing this out. I'm telling you what is going to happen. We will be here till midnight, possibly later. If you have to make have that any... call... They don't want to have lives. If you have to make that call, I get it, but I'm telling you what will happen. <clears throat> Episode 26, part three! All right, from my own money, I'm going to buy you guys something nice. What do you want? Pizza? Beers? What do you want? All right. <laughs> but Neo you has you spoken. Neo's okay. no, no, okay. No, he's, he's like, not he's okay. Not okay. He's walking away. Yeah, Neo's not going to do it? not okay with Look it. Look at it. He does, he's not, he's he's not even at looking us. at us. No. I actually think he might be asleep over there. No, he's not. He shook no, his head. He pissed. shook his head. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not. Let's not. Neo's out? Yeah. How much longer would it take, do you think? It'll take a while. I mean, this is a What's pretty that? intense I combat. I can't see your hand. It's behind Doc's head. <coughs> yeah, no, he said no. He said Look, because no. he's pointing to the turned off monitor. It's okay, we'll do it next week. Look, all your fingers have to do is this. Look, look. <sighs> Those have to go with this. <laughs> well, all right. I, I cast Charm Person on the entire tech team right now. <laughs> okay, laughing. Here's, here's, here's what I would propose. Uh, a, sh a short timeout while they mute my microphone to go over and talk to them. Uh, you continue with the round because I don't matter. So at least do one more round while I go talk to, to them. Don't worry about the switching. We won't do all the cool stuff. <coughs> I gotta go talk to them. Perfect. Okay. Uh, the top of the round is is you. <laughs> a uh, will save, right? It, you can make another will save. It's a full round action, so you wouldn't get to go this round, but if you shake off the effects of the spell, you can at least regain control of yourself. What else am I gonna do? Lay there and laugh? Okay, I'm you could. You can elect to just lay there and laugh. No, I'm gonna attempt to get myself out of this. Beat it. <laughs> That's a 13. You are still laughing. It is still hilarious to you. It's not. Okay. All I your dreams have come true. I scream. I scream to the rest <coughs> of them up there. I say. Come down and fight us like a man, or I'll unleash my beast upon you! And I, I gesture towards Whoa, um, okay. in, in hopes to bluff them down. Uh, All right, are you doing anything else? And then I'm striking Bruce. You're striking Bruce, strike him. You're no longer getting the flanking bonus. Cause because laughing. somebody's laughing. Somebody thinks this is hilarious. Eleven. Eleven? Eleven. Not quite good enough. Alex. You're standing there bleeding, but you can tell that Arthur is getting worn down. Is there a way I can drink a Cure Light Wounds and attack, or it has to be one or the other? I'm, you can, if you do that, you can make one attack. So you can drink a potion and make one attack. Actually, I'm gonna. I can never remember the whether that the provokes potion. an attack of opportunity, though. I don't no, think wait. drinking a potion provokes. I'm gonna wait on the potion for one more round. Um, all right, I'm gonna first attack with my rapier. Huh? I'm gonna first attack with my rapier. You are going to double attack. So you're not drinking a potion. No. Okay, double attack. All right. Two attacks coming at this guy. Yes. Remember so play. Remember 18. Play. That might be a critical. Uh, that's with a critical rapier, threat. Critical threat chance. Critical oh, threat. Man. The crit machine strikes. 16. Oh, she got it. Total? 22. 22. That is a confirmed. Ah. Oh, that's my first one. I'm going to roll. What? Just try and kill him with that? Yes, do so it. So what is that? Then? So um, it's 1d6, correct? Plus 2, double. And then you roll your 3d6 on top of it. No, there's no. So roll your 1d6 first. Jesus. Two. two plus two, four doubled, eight. Eight? Then, yes. Yeah, I got you. Then, then row three d6 for your um, 
for your uh, sneak attack damage. Two plus three is five. Sixteen points of total damage. Sixteen points of damage. That's and that was the rapier. Hit. That was the first hit. You jam your blade up into his neck and pull it out. Yes. And blood is gushing down. And he falls over. Everywhere. He staggers. Onto me. Falls down. And I stare him ah! in the eyes. Stare him in the eyes. Look at Craig real quick. Give him a high five. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Move on. All right. The high five was her second attack. <laughs> yes. Road to hit. Road to hit. No, I'm not. No, nah, don't waste it. Oh wait, I still have. A, I'm no, done. No, I mean, yeah? you, you, with I'm a full attack, you don't have. And there's nobody else in range. So right. Like, yeah, you're you're done for the round. So, Jim Jam, what do you do? What? Well, oh. I fire with all of my guys. That's what I do. <sighs> None of them were inspired by my. None of them were ready to come down nearer to the creature. No, none of them have decided to approach the massive mud monster. No, me. <laughs> None of but them that, believe that I can control it. None of them, if they, if, if I, if you told me that you could control it, I wouldn't get down in the pit with you. I would run away. Yeah. I would absolutely not come down in that pit. 100%. But I, Brett wasn't idle. I said, come down and face me or I'll release my mud box. Either way, if they go there, <coughs> they're going to get hit. So they're not going to go to you. I definitely wouldn't come down there. But there's some confusion. No. There's no. <laughs> Either way, the three guys down in the pit, they're panicked. They're gonna take shots at the mud monster. Yes. Three attacks at the mud monster. One of them's a hit. One of them's a miss. Bolt goes sailing off into the darkness, smack, bam, into the monster. Um, the guys up top, so yes, Chelsea and Kelsey says, yeah, I have so much respect for a tech team. Whatever they decide, I still think they're awesome. And uh, trust me, we do as well. Yeah. Very appreciative of our tech team. They are amazing. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put our tech team in for We'll put our tech teams in for up because our tech team has agreed to finish out the battle. What? So we are going to finish out the battle. Wow. Jim Rodehaver, can you make it? Yep. I'm gonna buy you all something nice. This is my this is my A new car! car. <laughs> like, a, like a chainsaw. Yes. A chainsaw. You get a car, you get a car, you get a car. They're right. uh, Hot Wheels, <laughs> 97 cents at uh, uh, Walmart. All right, so we gotta speak through this. Let's yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's speak. Um, Guys up top, taking shots at the monster. They're shooting the monster? Yep. Yeah. Uh, a couple of hits. What does the monster say to this? <laughs> the monster. Very upset. Um, but then Gwyn. Gwyn points her finger at you, Quigley. Make a reflex save. Of course she does. Dirty, dirty whore. <laughs> Yeah. I, do I don't like her either. Like her, Sam, I am. She is a, you know, I would like to see. Seven. Word her. Seven. Seven. The ground underneath you, it's like it drops out and you fall I'm into a pit, a pit that was never there before. That's your even a pit. lower pit. You're a sloped, <laughs> muddy pit. I'm in a pit. You hit the bottom, crashing down into the into the ground. You take <coughs> some falling damage. I'm in a pit. That's pit cubed. That's pit cubed. You take six points of falling damage. I'm in a pit. You're pit cubed. You're you are now looking up out of a 20. Safest place away from You are looking up out of a 20 foot pit in the oh ground. A 20 God. foot pit? 20 foot pit that has appeared as if by, as if perhaps by magic right from under you. Charlie Son, Tech Team rocks twice as hard. Cat Glenn, Tech Team Yay. rocks. Damon Geisler, thank you, cast and crew, for extra special effort. We are giving you all the Love effort that guys. we have. It's happening right now. And Lucas Martinez says, Team Jonathan shirts for everyone! Yay. I am going to ban 
Lucas Martinez from the chat. Wow. <laughs> too much Jonathan talk. Too much Jonathan talk. You have to give him justice what for Jonathan. Let him read the prizes as Jonathan. Then they'll stop. So Quigley was down in the pits, and then he was also emotionally down in the pits. And now he's even lower. We didn't even get any this lower. Is as low as Quigley can get. Oh, is it though? Probably. As the muddy monster makes its way towards the group of uh, men who just fired and takes a massive swing. Hitting solidly <coughs> and crushing the life out of one of the men in the pit. Still got a message? Killing him instantly. <sighs> That's all my dudes. Craig. It's on all of us? Yeah, it's on all of you. Yes, message is on all of you. Yes. Oh. It's your turn. It's my turn. Is it? Is Arthur down? He's dead. Arthur is so dead. What's wow. Yeah. That <coughs> nice work. A, a very large hole inside of the lock. Right in front of the ramp. That is correct. It is a 10 Great. foot by 10 foot pit. 10 by 10 by 20. Is there any way to get out now? You can try to climb. It no, is I mean, difficult. I mean, is there any way to get to the ramp that doesn't go through the pit? Uh, it is difficult, but if you want to climb up, like you can try to climb up over the slope. I mean for them. Yeah. Who is? Yeah, so we could try to jump over the pit. Is you can try to climb up the ramp. You can try like climb, like climb up onto the ramp from a different location. It's difficult. It's bad. This wasn't going to be easy, guys. So this guy goes down. So I turn around to. You see, stand. Quigley is gone, but there's this massive hole in the ground. Okay. There is a massive mud creature that you recognize from before. And now that's like probably <clears throat> that way. It's actually relatively close to the pit because the guys had fanned out that were shooting at it. So he comes over. He's about 15 feet away from the actual ramp. But. Mud monster looks at you and goes, oh, hey, Craig. <laughs> Welcome back. Bruce your friend, your new friend, your new elf friend is laughing. still laughing completely uncontrollably. And Bruce, ground. Bruce is up by her. Bruce is up, yes, currently Bruce is up. Bruce is up by her. Yep. <laughs> What's closer, Bruce or Monty Monster? Bruce is closer. Ah! <coughs> All right. Can I, can I flank with him? Is he fighting, he's fighting Bruce? He's Nobody else is here. Gone. Here. Yeah, Quigley's gone. You don't even see him. I'm, uh, ch uh I can't flank with her either. No, I can't. Uh, Six seconds, Craig. I know, can I charge? Yeah. That guy. Sure. Charge him. Uh, and before I start charging, I say, do you have magic for the, I say, do you have magic for the mud creature? And I'm charging and, oh my God. I feel like this is it right here. Raging out. Charge, rage, power. Charge, rage, power. These are the very. It's usually end very badly. Uh, not Sonic. Charge, rage, power. Charge, rage, power. Oh, come on. Oh, ten plus ten. Twenty. Twenty. That's a hit. Oh, come on. You Bruce. strike Bruce. Probably gonna kill him. Probably gonna kill him. He burnt our house down. Die! So, four, 14 plus 5, 19. 19 points of damage. That is definitely enough to drop Bruce. As you see, he turns, he sees you coming, and you just smash your hammer into his chest. He goes falling to the ground. He is dead. Eric feels bad. He is twitching. Eric feels a little bad. A little bad? <laughs> Craig, Craig doesn't care. Uh. Craig's in a blind rage. That means it's Marcus' turn. <coughs> I need to sneak up behind <coughs> Gwen Six. Okay, you take a full round to get around behind her. You have uh, Featherfall on, you have Mage Armor on, you have Vanish on. You are behind Gwen Six. Next round, something's probably gonna happen. It's time to see who's who's whose turn is it? Whose turn is it? Is it your turn? Is it your turn? Yeah. Do you get a turn this time? Let's find out. <laughs> Still laughing. 
There was a Chewbacca there. Still yeah. hilarious. This is still will save, yeah? It is still a will save. 21. 21. You managed to finally get your body under control. You are still prone. It's a full round action, so your next round you'll be able to get up and do stuff. Okay. But you managed to suppress the effects of the spell and shake off the, the compulsion to, to just laugh uncontrollably. You better take the switch down. Just saying. Okay. I, I'm going to climb out of the pit. Okay, make a climb check. You should know this is not an easy check. On the side where I would be still in the fight. Okay. Nathan Evers. I'm not running. Mentions, that was your plan, right? Mud Monster for the win. That would be a 15? You are in that pit. It is excessively hard. You find that the, st the stone is smooth. You can tell that this today. is this is going to be no easy task. Alex. So here's what I was going to do, which Marcus is doing. I was going to take a vanish potion and run behind um, the spellcaster and, yeah. and kill her. She's up at the top of the pit now. Okay, forget it. Way up high. How far away is the mud monster from me? Uh, you're about 30 feet from the, or 40 feet from the mud monster. So can I run close enough to throw a, uh, my burn bag, my tangle foot burn bag at it? You can. You do know that you don't want to run too close to it. You know that you, the tangle burn bag, can it can hurt it, but it's not going to entangle it. Uh, you just know the creature's just too big for you to, to entangle. But you know you can still hurt it with fire. You can do that. Um, you also know that uh, because it has reach, if you get too close to it, it can take attacks of opportunity against you because it has reach. It threatens a large area. Okay, what else is <clears> around <throat> me? Is his hole near me, the pit? Dude, That's dude. about 15 feet away. <laughs> You can see, yeah, like this this pit has just opened up right da in front of the ramp. <laughs> Damon Geisler says to Quigley, do you have any climbing gear, Quigley? Hammer, pittance, does it have any vulnerable spots? Can you form I, some sort I of rudimentary lathe? spikes, but I didn't believe that was the climbing, was it? You can use them. I mean, but here's the thing with that, like you have to take the time to drive the pits into the right. wall and like, right. like it makes a whole, it's a whole process, but you can do it. Yeah. It's a rock, it doesn't <laughs> have any vulnerable spots. All right, I'm gonna pick up my crossbow. Okay. Can I aim it at the spellcaster? Or? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to shoot it at her. Okay. You're going to take a minus two for the... No, no, the range is 80 feet, I think, on those. You're good. Six plus seven is probably not enough. Not enough. You fire wildly, but your, your bolt goes sailing off. Okay. <clears throat> oh. Okay. My turn. First thing that's going to happen, Mud Monster is going to shift just a little bit so that it has a nice group of juicy targets. Mm, yummy. It gets itself wedged in so that it can hit with a great cleave attack. All of the remaining Sixers down in the pit. Yes. Crag. Not you. You're too far. You, you are still too far away. So you're going to take one. Attack, the first target is gonna be one of the Sixers. So if it hits the Sixers, it's continuing through. Sixers going down. Crushes the life out of him. Fall doesn't even have a chance to scream before he's just engulfed in this muddy mass. And it doesn't even, like you don't even know what happens. Continues through to the second one. Cleaves through it. Crushing him to death in a mass of mud. Drowning him. And then into Crag. There were three. No, the other, other one was one. dead. The other one. one died first. Crag, you're getting hit. You're getting hit. Mud Monster Mad Mad. Oop. 14 points of damage. And make a four. Nope, you cannot be engulfed. So, no fortitude saves. You're fine. Yeah, do it. You're all good. I want to show my ring. <coughs> you're good. You got the ring. You're fine. All of the Sixers in the pit have been killed. It's just you guys and the monsters. Gwyn Six and her six guys are still up top. Did they shoot at the mud monster? I'm telling you what happened. I'm oh, I would guess they this. shoot at you. All right, I'm getting into this. <sighs> Seeing the battle turning against. Everybody up top is gonna make a, a check to see if they break and run. Two are staying. 
One is fleeing. Yeah, so only one of them breaks ranks, just unable to like. He just sees all of his like sees this huge Stricken monstrosity crushing through his his allies. Sees Arthur Six get stabbed through the throat. Sees that there's just no hope and turns and flees into the night. Thanks for watching. We're glad you're here. We would be even gladderer if you went over to facebookcom slash dragons and stuff and watched us live on Friday evenings at 6 p.m. Pacific time, where we play for your viewing entertainment live. You can chat with us, you can win prizes. It's a good time, hang out with our, our awesome fans. Be one of them, join us, join us.